Good morning, John. There's people with me on a couch. These are the creators of the Financial Diet, which is a website and YouTube channel. You guys talk about the personal finances. Yes, we do. So I have some questions that have been asked. Lots of people wanted the answer to. I am also curious about this first one. Is it better for your credit score to carry over some debt on credit cards month to month or just pay it off completely? It is better to pay off your credit card balances in full if you have the money to do so. You yeah. don't want to necessarily like deplete your cash reserves because then if an emergency comes up, you'll have nothing to tap into. And this is a four minute show, so most of this is probably cut. But for the record, <laughs> there is a part of your credit score <laughs> that is determined by how much of your available credit you are using. So obviously there's the mm. argument to be made that when you pay off a credit card in full, you are reducing the amount yeah. of credit utilization, as they call it, mm. which will help your score. But it is much worse for your score to miss a payment right. than to have a yeah. higher utilization. But if I use all of my credit, then that's not helping my credit score. Yeah, no. that's a bad thing. That's no. a bad thing. So long story short, yeah. better to pay it off if you can. But if you can't pay it all off, the most important part is making that payment on time. I still have like a $3,000 credit limit. And I'm like, what? Come on, guys. Did you just... <laughs> That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> what are some resources for getting started in investing? Should I meet with a human person or just go on E-Trade? All right, now listen up. <laughs> Chelsea? <laughs> there is very little regulation about who can advise you with your money. They could be giving you bad advice or unqualified advice. But also, when it comes to investment, you can start really, really, really small. Obviously, if you have a 401k at your job, which many people do, that is investing. But if you're thinking more about like, active investment, there are very, very easy, low cost ways that don't require you to potentially talk to a snake oil salesman. I would personally recommend something like Fidelity, great reputation, mm. they've been around forever, super low barrier to entry, like you can invest a couple hundred dollars a year and you can do it all online really quickly. How do I eat less fast food and also spend less money on fast food? Stop driving by them first and <laughs> foremost, like. What? How do I not <laughs> drive by fast food? That's literally there on all the roads. Create an alternate route, find the ones that tempt you yeah. the most, and you avoid yeah. those things like the plague. Also yeah. start cooking at home. Yeah, right? right? Like that's this? the easiest America. way. Or like learn those copycat uh, recipes yeah. from like the, your favorite fast food places. How do I make a chicken McNugget? <laughs> yeah. Should I be investing in cryptocurrency? No. <laughs> no. No. Why shouldn't I rack up my credit cards if it just goes away when I die? <laughs> There's all these years between now and when you die when they're gonna take your stuff away. When you get sent that bill and you don't pay it, like, you'll start to see those effects, like, almost immediately. Mm. They'll come rob you in the grave. Someone was asking, uh, they're changing jobs and their uh, 401k is rolling over to the new job and they were wondering if they should just take their 401k out and pay off their student loans with it. I would not recommend. Oh no, <laughs> and also a hard no. The whole point of the 401k is that it's a very good deal and your student loans are probably at a fairly low interest rate already. It's really nice to get that off your back and to not have to worry about your loans anymore, but financially it's a much better decision to just pay them off as they come. Last question. Why are jeans so expensive? Why because are they so wear them cheap? So much and forever. <laughs> it depends what kind of jeans you're buying, though. Like, are they fashionable? Or are they just like workhorse jeans? Do they have, do they have like... giant holes in them? I yeah. knew this was coming. <laughs> like, these are Abercrombie. I am a cool kid in high school. How dare you? I will say though that jeans originated as like workmen's clothes, yeah. and they're super durable. And good pairs of jeans mm -hmm. you can wear for five years. Thank so. you to <laughs> yes. the people who make jeans. Thank you. Except you forgot some spots on mine. Thank you guys. If you want to watch more of The Financial Diet, which you really should, it's at youtube.com slash The Financial Diet. You guys are on Twitter Ooh. and you have a blog and all that stuff as well. There's links Ooh. in the description. Thanks for hanging. John, I'll see you on Tuesday. End screen. Check out the longer version of this video that I edited for Hank's channel and also a video I did called Six Awkward Money Questions with Hank Green over on The Financial Diet.